Hello, this is Caroline Bell from Summer Hill Financial Services just with another update. So there's been a little bit going on recently, just both within the business itself as well as uh, looking at markets and what's been going on around the world. In relation to um, investing, just particularly with what's been happening with markets, so we've seen a bit of strength come through in markets in the last little while. We've been holding on to a little bit of cash, specifically with the July distributions now being having paid into the accounts at the mid sort of to end July. So with existing portfolios and existing monies, we're comfortable. Everything's sort of still in the fair value range, except for the US, which is considered to be overpriced. We're being more conservative with new monies. So we're very concerned with at what, what is the purchase cost of new money going into the portfolio now? And so Alex and I have a formal chat every Wednesday, just in relation to looking at markets and looking at valuations, looking at sort of cash that's sort of sitting there at the moment and making a call as to whether it's an appropriate time to invest or not. A couple of weeks ago, we do this on a Wednesday, we decided to invest some monies into Europe for some of our clients because they were sort of still at the, Europe was still at the top of the um, cheap end of the, or the bottom of the fair value range. But yesterday when we had our call, we've decided just to hold. So even though you may be sitting on a little bit of cash, actually not doing anything is still making an active decision. Um, it's not that we're just sort of ignoring the cash. We're sort of looking at that every week. And we would rather just be a little bit more conservative. And if we do see a drop in markets, take advantage of that drop rather than just investing at the current purchase prices. The other thing that's uh, we've had a couple of queries, particularly in relation to the Royal Commission that's studying again soon, is um, BT and Macquarie and investing through BT and Macquarie. None of our clients actually invest through or in BT and Macquarie. We purely use them as administration services. We find that BT and Macquarie have the most competitive, um, both in terms of fees as well as services, in terms of providing an administration service. And the main benefit of this administration service is it gives us access to wholesale investments, which are normally only available to sophisticated, sophisticated investors, such as large institutions or pension funds. So by investing in these wholesale funds, uh, compared to retail funds, which is really what the Royal Commission's about, the, the investment administration cost is sometimes a quarter of what the retail funds cost. So we actually do not have any clients that use these sort of standard retail funds um, and we sort of invest through these administration services administered by BT or Macquarie to access these wholesale funds, which we, we then make a conscious decision as to how that money is invested um, with you. BT and Macquarie have absolutely nothing to do with the underlying investments. In terms of what's been going on uh, a little bit behind the scenes, is we've decided to update our video conferencing software. So many of you will notice that we're using Zoom now instead of GoToMeeting, um, but that's all included in the planning meeting details that Margaret will send you as well as the email confirmations. And speaking of the planning meetings as well, as some of you know, we sort of try to make the personal profile visit online a little bit more user-friendly, and we've had some really good feedback about that, which we appreciate, but always happy for more feedback. But Margaret has also prepared an instructional video for actually how to update the personal profile wizard. Um, so there's a little sort of video which is attached to this email, which will take you step by step through um, the easiest way of updating that wizard. Um, it's a great little video and she's done a really good job. So I'm really happy with that and we'll sort of um, attach that every time we ask you to update your wizard. As always, if you have any comments or queries, uh, please feel free to send them through. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.